With just days to go before European elections, the Austrian Chancellor is struggling to restore stability to his government since a corruption scandal embroiled his junior coalition partner, the far-right Freedom Party. Speaking just a short while ago, Sebastian Kurz said his Conservative Party was unanimous that the allegations of bribery levelled against his Vice-Chancellor, Heinz Christian Strache, will be thoroughly investigated. But Kurz stopped, uh, stopped short of firing his far-right interior minister as had been expected. A film emerged of Austrian Vice-Chancellor Strache last week, allegedly offering government contracts for campaign funding. He has since tendered his resignation. It was this video released by German news outlets Der Spiegel and Süddeutsche Zeitung that brought Austria's governing coalition to its knees. In an elaborate sting operation, Vice-Chancellor Heinz-Christian Strache of Austria's far-right party FPÖ is heard and seen offering government contracts to a fake Russian backer in return for campaign help. While the video was filmed in 2017, it didn't become public until last Friday. Strache resigned in disgrace, and Chancellor Sebastian Kurz responded by calling for early elections. But Kurz questioned whether the Interior Minister Habert Kieker, also from the far-right party, should stay on in the meantime. Kieker would be in charge of investigating the Strache scandal, despite being the head of the far-right party at the time of the sting. The far-right party, however, said their ministers would collectively step back should their interior minister be sacked. Now let me draw in our correspondent Barbara Wiesel, who is keeping track of that story in Vienna. Barbara, the Austrian Chancellor Sebastian Kurz was under pressure to sack his interior minister, and he's from the far-right Freedom Party, but he's refused to do this. Do we know what the strategy here is? It seems, uh, I mean, the nation was waiting with bated breath, and particularly the Austrian and the international press here in Vienna. But it seems that Sebastian Kurz is still playing a, a techni a tactical games. It seems that he still doesn't want to take responsibility to sack the Freedom Party from government and from the coalition himself. And now he puts the responsibility for that uh, onto the president. Uh, he said that he doesn't want to sort of uh, uh, take the decision away from him and speak before the president would uh, sort of uh, come out here and say what he wants and how he wants to proceed, which of course is just an excuse. Uh, so he's still playing games. He's still sort of uh, trying to keep things alive and trying to somehow keep contact to the Freedom, Par Freedom Party. It is a very different picture than what we've seen from Sebastian Kurz in the past. He always sort of likes a strong word very quickly and comes out with strong pr uh, pronouncements. Not so in the scandal. He somehow seems to still feel uh, fear the fallout. Now, earlier, the far-right Freedom Party also addressed journalists. What did they have to say? Oh, they said uh, that they had done fantastic work in government and that everybody should really thank them instead of sort of scuppering uh, the coalition government uh, and uh, that the necessary steps had been taken. Uh, Karl-Heinz Strache had to, had to step down and more or less things were over. And particularly uh, Norbert Kickel, the contentious interior minister, who, by the way, among other problems that he caused, sort of endangered security cooperation was necessary neighboring countries like Germany, for instance, uh, because there is no trust in security services uh, in what he does. Uh, Kickel came out and said, none of this is my fault. Uh, I'm the best interior in minister ever and I want to stay in office. So they are fighting, uh, they are at attacking in, instead of being contrite and saying we are very sorry about this. They say we are sorry, but somehow they say it doesn't matter. We can continue. Barbara Wiesel, thank you very much for bringing us up to date on Austrian politics uh, in Vienna.